Specialist Norman Kane and his wife Bridget welcomed their son's birth shortly before deploying to Afghanistan. Here to share Bridget's experience, please welcome the gifted actress of film, theater, and television, Selma Blair. On my first date with Norman, my life changed in an instant. I knew I was looking at the guy I was going to marry and who I was going to have kids with and be happy with. We had that fairy tale kind of romance, you know, the one that doesn't exist. The one where we're best friends, where everything we did, we did with passion. I was completely in love with him. Norman wanted to join the National Guard, and just a month after, I found out I was pregnant. When Torin was born, it was amazing watching him. He was totally in love with his son, and my three-year-old daughter adored him. She was his baby girl. Norman always said we were his greatest accomplishments, being a father and a husband. He deployed to Afghanistan when Torin was only six months old. With the war going on, I knew it was going to happen, but still it ripped my heart out to see him have to leave our family so soon. We were fortunate. We were able to talk almost every day. We had a pact that we'd never say goodbye on the phone. It was always good night, and we'd correct each other if we slipped up on it. Then one night, about five months into his tour, after we said we loved each other probably six or seven times, for some odd reason, I said goodbye. He didn't correct me. He said, Goodbye, Bridget. I love you. And he hung up. I tried to call him the next day, but I hadn't heard from him, and the phone just rang and rang, and I had this horrible feeling of dread. A few hours later, two uniformed soldiers showed up. Mrs. Kane, I'm sorry to inform you. All I remember is pacing around the room twice, and then I passed out. for the kids, and in the one day that was gone, I buried him. I said my goodbyes. I went to his grave more times than I could count, but it still didn't sink in. He always said we'd be lost without each other, and there wasn't a day that went by I wasn't overwhelmed by him being gone. I tried to live a normal life, but it was like struggling through a giant fog. For the longest time, I felt like I was on an island. No one understood what I was going through. On one hand, I had to deal with my own grief, and then I had to watch what Norman's death put my three-year-old daughter through. Fallon was incredibly close to Norman. It tore her apart. I couldn't shelter children from the fact that he died. My son is never going to know his father except through memories and images and stories. So the pictures are everywhere and they will stay up no matter what. Fallon still sleeps with her favorite photo of him and Torin has learned how to march like his dad. I'm making books for my children that have all the photos and articles about Norman so they can remember him when they get older. They're going to know that's daddy. That's daddy. Because if we forget about him, what was the point of it all? To me, every day should be Memorial Day. I mean, it's great that they've set aside a special day in the year, but honestly, Everybody in this country should take a minute and thank one of these soldiers. People have to quit counting the numbers and think about the lives. You know, this is somebody's husband, a brother, her son, a father. These are people who mattered and who will always 
never. Norman Kane III was my husband. He was Torin and Fallon's dad. He died at the age of 22 serving his country. Norman Kane III was my hero and he will never be forgotten. Three years have passed and life moves forward as it has to. I became friends with other Gold Star Widows, which was a huge help. Their strength was such an inspiration for me. Norman knew he might not come back. He made me promise that if anything happened to him, I would do whatever it took for me to move on, whether it was a job or school or a relationship. I had to promise that his death wouldn't kill me too. I recently met someone. Our daughters go to the same school. I had to be completely honest with him. He knows that I will always be in love with Norman. He will always have to share me. And he understands. On his own, he went out to Norman's grave to talk to him, to ask his permission for us to be together. Last year, I wrote a remembrance letter to the Memorial Day Concerts website. Tonight, I am so grateful to share it in honor of all our loved ones who have been lost to war. Dear Norman, not a day goes by that I don't think of you. The pain never goes away. Your children know your name and love you and miss you so much. Every day you are loved more than the last. Life was sweeter and more beautiful with you in it. I was proud to be your wife. I didn't have you in my life for as long as I wanted, but I had you. I treasure all our memories, never regretting a single day. Rest in peace, my sweet hero. You went from being my beautiful dream come true to my guardian angel. I love you. Your wife, Bridget.